Hello everyone, Neonstar here, and I love having pets. Cats, dogs, bunnies, maybe some reptiles in the future. Now I've had pets my whole life, and that brings me plenty of content, I mean stories to draw for all of you. Most of these pets have passed away, so fair warning, it might get a bit disturbing. The first pet I have for you is Tasha, a pretty calico cat. I wasn't alive when my parents had Tasha, so this part would be short and all of it was told to me second hand. My dad was looking for a cat when he saw an ad in a free newspaper. The ad said they had a litter of kittens, so my dad was like, oh, I'm just going to go over to look. When he got there, the guy said, we only have one kitten left. When my dad saw her, he just fell in love. Let's fast forward some years. My late mother always kicked our cats out at night, and with Tasha, she always came back in the morning. One day, she didn't come back in the morning. They went searching, but unfortunately, they never found her. My parents' theory was that someone else took her in since she was so pretty. The next pet we had was Mina. My dad had a friend named Bill. Now, Bill had a cat, and eventually she had kittens. My parents absolutely adored them. One day, the run to the litter, a cute black kitten, climbed up and slept in the baby stroller. This was the last straw, and my parents took her in. She was initially named Jasmine, Jazz for short, but Mina was an absolute hellraiser. Eventually, the name morphed into Jasmina, and that eventually turned into Mina, which stuck. One of the mean things she'd do is harass Tasha. Even though Tasha was much bigger, Mina was... relentless. Tasha would jump onto a tall, rotating bar stool, and Mina would just circle like a predator. Despite this, Mina did have a soft spot. She had a particularly soft spot for us kids. One thing Mina loved to do was climb into a hole in the couch we had. When moving, my parents had put a bunch of things into storage, including the couch. Though it was strange, they couldn't find Mina. And when they moved the couch out, out came Mina from the hole. This freaked my parents out since it had been in storage for a while. Mina wasn't doing too hot, so my dad was going to take her to the vet in the morning. Unfortunately, it was pointless. She was gone by then. Another short one we have is Buddy the Turtle. I don't remember him, but for a brief period of time, we had a turtle. My parents found him, and we kept him while looking for its owner. Apparently, he stunk a lot. Eventually, though, we found his owner, and they took him back. Even though I don't remember him, I still named my squirtles after him. Let's move on to the next one. Our next pet is a Maltese puppy named Precious. My older sister got a puppy for her 8th birthday, at least according to my dad. My sister is 7 years older than me, so I don't remember much. I used to give her hot dog pieces. Eventually, though, after 3 years, she experienced a massive heart attack that she didn't survive. My dad put her corpse in a garbage bag and into the tub until he could bury her. We lived in an apartment, so he had to wait. I couldn't bathe and it felt surreal to see that bag whenever I used the bathroom. Now we're onto the first boy, a Siamese cat named Sam. There was a pet store right behind an apartment that we were living in. One day, my mom wanted to just look around. Now something you should know about my mother is she had a habit of impulse buying animals. So when she saw a cute Siamese cat, she immediately hounded my dad to get him. Unfortunately, Sam was sick, so it took us a while for us to actually take Sam home. And once he was home, my parents quickly found out that Sam wasn't housebroken. This resulted in Sam becoming an outdoor cat. He would also get into fights with our other cats, so Sam stayed outside for the most part. When he would stay inside, he would bark like a dog all night. We had a neighbor next door who helped take care of him. So when we moved and could only take two pets with us, Sam stayed with her instead. Despite having the lady's number, it ended up getting lost and we never saw Sam again. My dad made an effort to find him, but to no avail. It was sad that we had to leave him behind, but when we moved, I found a bracelet that said something along the lines of, I love you, Sam. At the time, I thought it was just a crazy coincidence, but it probably isn't. Though no one in my family that I asked afterwards knew where it came from. Now we're moving on to a cat that I still have with me, a beautiful white and orange cat named Casper. When I was around four years old, my family knew this calico cat that would hang around the neighborhood. Eventually, that cat had a litter of kittens. Being alley cats, the kittens ended up being caught by a pet catcher. One morning, my parents heard a loud, high-pitched crying. When they went out to investigate, they found a tiny white kitten who was caught. They ended up taking him in, and he was housebroken right away. He was the runt, and so small he could fit into your hand and would hide out in our theater cups. Now he's so big and fluffy, he can't even fit in your lap. When he was young, he was quite the delinquent. He would fight with Sam and with us. But when he was neutered, he became a big sweetheart. He's so nice that he practically raised my younger brother and me. And despite his size, he's a lap kitty through and through. I'm not sure if he will come with me when I move out, but for now he's my bestest friend. And I've known him for most of my life and all of his. He loves to lick plastic and eat our plastic Christmas trees. He also once ate a toy strawberry I had. Only reason we knew he ate it is because he threw it up later. He may not be the brightest, but he sure is the prettiest. 
Now let's move on to another dog who is still living with us. After Precious passed, we wanted another Maltese dog. My parents went out one day promising to come back with a Maltese puppy. When they came back, they told us that they didn't come back with a Maltese. They came back with a Maltese and Yorkshire Terrier mixed puppy. We initially thought about naming him Benji since we loved those movies, but then my parents saw a news story about a dog being murdered. His name was Toby, and so in memory we named our new puppy Toby. Now Toby is definitely an OD type. Nothing going on in there. But despite this, he has run for it a couple times. When we moved to Texas last February, he ran away like 15 minutes after we got to my dad's girlfriend's house. A woman took him in and renamed him Rusty. She was very mad when we wanted him back and dumped him at a pound. Luckily, my dad could pick him up from there. He's about a year younger than Casper, so he's pretty old now. We've only ever had two fish. Their names were Ponyo and Moonbeam. My sister came home one day from school with two bags of fish in each hand. Ponyo was a standard goldfish and Moonbeam was a silvery kind of fish. We put them in some Tupperware and went out that night for fish food. But when we got back, Moonbeam was dead. Ponyo lived a bit longer, though. She lived in a jar by the kitchen sink. She lasted about three months. I thought this was long for a fish, but they're actually supposed to live for 10 to 15 years, so... I guess it's pretty long for a fish with no proper equipment. Still, now that I know more about marine life and ichthyology, I do feel really bad. So I actually have to split this video into two parts. I wrote this whole script and it's twice as long as a normal script. So stay tuned for part two where you can see more cats, a dog, and meet the bunnies I've had in the past. If you'd like to be notified when part two comes out, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Hit like if you enjoyed this and watch part two, if it's out when you see this. Have a good day everyone and thanks for watching. Bye! Hey, it's post-editing Mel here, and man, it's such a difficult time making this video. Like, the original recording, things would go wrong, like my phone would go off or someone would open a door upstairs. And then I noticed, like, last minute that I cut out a section of the video in the beginning, so I had to scrap the whole thing and record it over again. Man, I've been doing this so long that the sun has come up. Ugh, I'm so tired. Anyway, if you'd like to support my suffering... Yeah, you know, I already said, like, like the video and stuff. Anyway, bye guys, see you later.